Welcome to this demonstration of 30-day evaluation of InfoSphere Guardian Vulnerability Assessment. This demonstration focuses on running security assessment tests to help you develop a strategy to measurably improve your database security posture. A holistic data security strategy includes determining what data requires the most protection, securing the repository that holds that sensitive data, managing carefully who has access to the data, monitoring activity on the data, preventing unauthorized and suspicious activities, and reduce risk and protect privacy by obfuscating or de-identifying sensitive data elements. With the InfoSphere Guardian Vulnerability Assessment Evaluation, you can gain a better understanding of where sensitive data resides and run security assessment tests to find known vulnerabilities and non-compliance to database security best practices. You will also be able to show a measurable improvement to your auditors. With this streamlined evaluation offering, you can do several key tasks. Discover Amazon RDS instances and check them for vulnerabilities. Scan your databases to find possible sensitive data, such as credit cards or social security numbers. Assess your databases for vulnerabilities using a set of predefined tests based on industry standards and best practices. This is what I'm going to be showing in this demo. Choose the assessment test suite you want to run based on the type of database and select Modify. In the full product offering, you can create and customize your test suites, and you can also subscribe to Data Protection Subscription that sends you updated tests as new vulnerabilities are discovered. In the Security Assessment Builder, your main task is to provide the data source connectivity information. You can either create a new data source or select from a list of existing data sources. I happen to have one already that I want to use. So I can add it and then apply. I can add more data sources if I have more than one oracle to evaluate. Now I go back to the main list of tests and click Execute to kick off the job for this comprehensive yet lightweight test suite. I can see all job activity status here in the job activity report. My assessment job is waiting I can refresh the report to see the latest status. Note that I can stop any running job here by double clicking on the job. After a few minutes, my security assessment completes. All right, let's, so let's go see how we did. Here is the report. It includes my overall passing score, which is 89%, which is an excellent score. It looks like I've been doing a good job here. Here you can see where it's breaking down the result based on the category of test. And here's the result history for this test suite. And here's a detailed breakdown of test results based on severity and how many passed or failed in each category. In this case, you can see there were 436 tests in this test suite. That's too much information for me to absorb, so I'm going to filter the report. I'll choose the critical and major tests and only those that have failed. This gives me only nine high priority things that I need to focus on. Here are some of the specific tests that failed. For detail on any particular test, you can click on the title. You can see a short description of the test and the source of the test, such as CIS or STIG. You can also see the history over time of this single test. In this case, I think I'm going to change the user and monitoring profiles to ensure that the user is locked out after three unsuccessful login attempts. Then I'm going to rerun this test suite and see if the score improves. Okay, I've changed my profile settings and my security assessment test has finished running. Let's see if I have a better score now. Look at that. My score has gone up from 89 to 93%. Before I show you how to compare test results, here's how you can exclude a particular test for a specified time window, which might be useful in cases where you have a system locked down to changes 
or you have some compensating control that you are using instead. Here's how to compare this test to a previous one. Here I can see exactly what changed from one run to the next. As you can see here, I have three tests that previously failed, which now pass because of the changes I made to the profiles. Now I think I'm going to download the results to a PDF and send it to my auditor. Now that you've gotten a glimpse of how to demonstrate measurable improvements in database security, take the next step and download the evaluation copy today at IBM Developer Works. Try it yourself to find sensitive data on your on-premise databases or on Amazon RDS instances in the cloud. Join the InfoSphere Guardian community on Developer Works and take advantage of forums to learn from other users. Learn more about the full offering, which includes such capabilities as, the, as automation and scheduling, business process workflow, a data protection subscription to make sure that you're up to date on the latest known vulnerabilities, detailed recommendations for hardening, and a scalable deployment for enterprise architectures. Contact your IBM representative or IBM business partner to learn more.